the arenas aren't set up yet. You know, the roads aren't paved yet. And so, yeah, you want to do the show, but you're also building and like pushing for the infrastructure to make this type of show. So it was like, it, it was it was just a wild ride. Like you're writing and you're doing the stuff that like other shows do, but you're also doing this whole other work of like constructing the whole arena to play in. So yeah, it was just a very intense uh, process, but you know, luckily we had like good people to to really push and, and, and to get the, the right elements across. Hey, Just Meath, how's it going? Good, how are you guys? Doing great, man. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, we just want to first start off by saying we love this show. We've watched it so many times now, over and over again, and we just, we can't stop. We want more episodes already, but we've got the first two, so my God, thank you so much for it. <laughs> wow, that means a lot, man. Thank you. Of course. No, and also, like, if you don't know who we are, that's totally cool. My name's Daniel. And my name's Shabazz. Nice. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too, man. You know, we are, you know, we're such big fans of yours. And, you know, when you dropped the trailer for Late Bloomer and the comments were just popping off, filled with people like so excited to see you coming back, you know, how did that make you feel knowing that people miss you that much? It's a very beautiful feeling, you know, I, I, I just, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's, it was like overwhelming. It was beautiful. It was just like. I was like, okay, cool. Like, you know, I, people haven't forgot. <laughs> like, you know, it's, I feel like I've just been off the internet for for a minute, and so I I, I haven't been a part of the whole internet sphere as I used to be. So it's like anytime I would interact with anybody, it'd be in real life, and things kind of calmed down for me. So it was just like a, I felt a little more normal, you know. So uh, yeah, coming back, it was just like an initial shock, initial hit again. But I mean, it, it, it's it's great because like when you've worked on something and having even just like the teaser be. Uh, received so well it was a, it's a really nice feeling yeah and, and i think that's that's the thing right you you were part of so many people's like lives for so long and there's there's things that even like that we'll say to this day we're like oh gosh that comes from this video or this that just becomes part of your like everyday vocabulary so i think people were just really excited to have you coming back because you connected with so many people right yeah yeah besides working on this show what, what else were you kind of doing with your time off man i was just kind of living you know just uh yeah, just, just, I don't know. I don't know how to <laughs> describe it, but man, I was just, just offline, perpetually offline and just kind of within That's reconnecting amazing. with people and life in general. So yeah, it was, it was a very beautiful time. That's amazing. Especially in today's day, it's so hard to do. So I'm so happy that you got that opportunity, but also on top of that, you also had this chance to work with such amazing people on this show. One of them being Russell Peters. Have you heard Russell Peters? Have you heard Russell Peters? Yeah, you should check him out. He's pretty funny. Yo, this is one thing he does. Like, somebody's gonna get hurt. <laughs> that guy's like the, probably the only funniest Indian I know, man. You guys are, you know, both from two different generations of South Asian Canadians. What was that experience like? I mean, Russell's just been like such a pivotal figure for uh, a lot of South Asians. You know, like I, I was, in, in high school when his like big special came out so it was like very impactful for me to see that and then you know he, him hopping on board and supporting the project just like meant you know it was like a full circle moment so yeah it's just cool to see like you know people that you kind of respect um giving you back that respect you're like oh wow like that's yeah it's just it's just a great it's a great feeling yeah and i mean th there's so many things that um like shared experiences but also you know the way you came up in your career is so different than how he did. So it's cool to see that. Yeah. Just like you said, that he's there to support you and have your back. Um, but there's, there's such, I think, nuances to growing up like in an immigrant household. There's like a lot of just small nuances, especially in Canada. Like, you know, we were so excited when we we're like, Oh, hold on. He actually took a second to show him taking his shoes off when he comes in the house. Might be the first <laughs> show that's you know done I mean? that. I think it's such a, it's such a small thing, but as like, as Canadians, as people who we just consume so much TVs and movies, we're like, that's, yeah. that's something that like you did. Was that something consciously that you put into the script that you did that? Or oh yeah. Just, you just did it. No, it's, I mean, it's, it's a bit of both. I even like, it's like, I just naturally, when I walk into a house, you want to take out of your shoes, but I think just watching like, 90s sitcoms and everybody's just walking around with their shoes on the house. I'm like, what, what is what is going on? Do people actually live like this? I'm like, do white people do this? Do they just walk around with their shoes? And but you know, I just was like, I think it's the little details that like really matter, you know, even if it takes like a second or two seconds long and on TV, um, you know, I'm like, I, I think it's worth doing. Uh, I know like TV's just like, oh no, we gotta get we only have a limited amount of time to to show what we want to do and just depict the scene that we want to show but i think those little details like 
really matter because it's like that's the world we're painting like this is how we actually are if i was it would bother me if i saw that and i was like wait this guy just walked in didn't try to take off his shoes in a in a Punjabi household what, what's going on you know so no it, it we we love that and we also love that you know there's a lot of sequences and at least in the first two episodes where you are you know we're speaking in english and then we're going to a different language and we'll have subtitles and like was that something that you had to like fight to get shown on screen or is this like this is my story this is authentic to me. This is like non-negotiable. It's a bit of both, you know, like this is, I, I really wanted to show what it feels like being in those communities. These, these people do speak Punjabi. So it's like, I, it, it feels real. It feels right for me to show. This is, this is my first language too. So it's like, I, 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 I love the Punjabi language and there's different dialects in the show as well. The mom speaks a different dialect in Northern Indian Kashmiri Punjabi. And that's the dialect my mother spoke. So it was important for me to get, uh, you know, cast somebody in that role that, spoke that dialect but you know even within the industry it was a big challenge because you know there was a there was a rule that was like imposed uh i, I don't know all the names but I, I think it was like a censor rule by the by the government that you can't have like a certain number a certain percentage past like 15 percent non-english so you know when we were, were writing the show i, I you know it, i made a conscious effort to show punjabi and then when we kind of hit that obstacle that was another thing that we kind of had to uh challenge and push back on and I remember there wasn't even a committee uh, to even appeal the rules. So they had to create a committee to even like uh, make an exception to this rule. So it's like, it was very interesting. Like even within making the show, there's so much uh, within the industry or like institutionalized aspects of this it, it, within the television industry, like that weren't, aren't really suited for shows for people of color. And so just within the act of making the show, you're really changing and like pushing and, and creating a lot of education when it comes to like authentic real stories. And so, yeah, you know, anytime we had pushback like that, it was, I think it was really important for me to, to, to keep pushing forward and to keep like, you know, stretching the boundaries of what we could do so we could really make a show that felt truly authentic and organic because, you know, that it would be like an injustice if, if we weren't able to do that. Yeah, in my opinion, a betrayal. It, it, no, it, it would be, right? And I and I think it's like, yeah, like there's things that you don't even think about. Whereas like yeah. the fact that there was not even a committee to appeal that and then they had to create that so you could then appeal it, um, which totally. is something that, you know, you coming up on the content creation side, how like you wouldn't really have to worry about that because you were in control of what you're putting out 100%. Did you find yeah. it like different now that you're working within that system to get a show like this made. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there's, there's the, the I'm, I'm really grateful that the team that we had, like, really also wanted to make the same type of show, and we're on board with the vision, uh, the writers, the director, producers, set designer, costume, like everyone, producers, like they were kind of really were supportive in terms of me kind of get, getting this vision across. But I mean, like, you know, there, there was a lot of challenges because it's just like there's, I, I just feel like what we're trying to do really hasn't been done before. And it's very easy to kind of fall into the trappings of like making a show that really checks all the boxes and like is neat, nightly, nicely packaged. But I kind of really wanted to push the boundaries in terms of what's been done before. So if it hasn't been done before, obviously that's like a whole new ground for you to, you know, play ball in. And it's like the, 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 the arenas aren't set up yet. You know, the roads aren't paved yet. And so the nets aren't even up yet. So it's like, yeah, you want to do the show, but you're also building and like pushing for the infrastructure to make this type of show. So it was like, it, it was it was just a wild ride. Like you're 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 writing and you're doing the stuff that like other shows do, but you're also doing this whole other work of like constructing the uh, the whole arena to to play in. So yeah, it was just a very intense uh, process. But you know, luckily we had like good people to to really push and, and, and to get the the right elements across. Yeah. And it's paid off so far from what we've seen. And it oh, yeah. truly is a, a fantastic show. What a good show. Yeah. Like we just, thank you. We can't stop watching it. And like what a way to start the year is more <laughs> right. Yeah. It's it's, oh, it's awesome. thank you guys. One of the things yeah. that you know it's so apparent about the show is obviously you know you you're basing it off so much of your life, but you are still kind of playing a fictionalized version of yourself in late bloomer. Is there an aspect of the late bloomer just meet that you're really excited to explore? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it like even as a writer, even as an actor, it really called for me to tap into uh, parts of me that I didn't really feel like I could show on screen before or was comfortable showing on screen before. And so like just tapping into that space of, of being like a little more honest, a little more vulnerable, it can be a very scary thing, but 
Um, I think there's there's like beauty in that scariness. Like it, it makes it more relatable. It makes it more raw for for people to really connect with. So, you know, I kind of just put those fears to the side and was like, uh, you know, in order to be like really connect with people and really like tell a story that feels real and 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 like push for a change when it comes to this type of storytelling and educate and like get people thinking a little more, having these discussions, like it requires you to be a little more raw and, and vulnerable. So, you know, I kind of had to like lower my defenses and lower my guard uh, and, and all those aspects and like kind of really just, just get, just get in there, just get messy. And I'm in many different ways, even in the first episode, you know, I get really raw and vulnerable in, uh, in certain yeah, ways. Yeah, <laughs> like, you, you definitely do in the first episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I just had to kind of get out there and just put myself out there in a sense, but in all in many different aspects. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the, the reception that I'm hearing so far, um, you know, it, it's, it's a bit of a relief because I was very kind of nervous about it. But, you know, it's, it's nice to hear that people are kind of connecting to that. So it makes it worth it. Speaking of reception, you got to show this off at, tiff earlier this week what yeah. was that experience like for you showing it in front of like the hometown crowd that would oh, really man. like be there for you right it was such a like beautiful night uh i it was it was like there's so much love there's so much like you know you know a lot of the cast and crew were there and we when we were working on the show we all felt like this was something really special we all felt connected to it and that's like so such a gift to have as a creator like to feel like the people that are also coming on board this project are giving so much of themselves and also feel so connected to the material. And so, you know, when we finally showed this to like, you know, the, the cast crew or close friends, some of the industry people, like it was just, just seeing their reaction and how much they loved it and, and laughed and got emotional and connected to it. Like I was just like so overwhelmed that night. And I was like, just relieved. Cause I was terrified before the screening, you know, even my parents were there. They, didn't really see any of the episodes so they got to watch it um for the first time alongside everybody else so you know it was, i was just like having this anxiety attack you know behind behind closed doors but um but no it, it was like it was really nice to get that reception so i mean it, it just it makes me more excited for you know the general public to also see it too i'm so curious what did your parents think of it when they watched it <laughs> um, you know, they they always knew what the show was about in in some sense. Like I I kind of moved back in with them during COVID, and you know they they saw me going through the process of like um, you know creating it, um, and so and then they came to set a few times as well. So they kind of had a glimpse into the world. So they weren't like completely brand new. They knew, and and they've always been in like full support of this happening even during the process. You know, it takes a really long time to make a TV show and. Sometimes some of the obstacles and some of the limitations, you kind of get disheartened. And they're the ones that were like really kind of like championing me and, and like motivating me to keep going and keep pushing for these like little things. So, you know, even just having them watch that, you know, they're giggling. My mom was just giggling. She's like, it's okay. You know, like times are changing. You know? She was like, yeah, it's funny. This is funny. So, um, yeah, no, they're, they're like really cool about all of it. So it's just like really nice to have that generation's approval too you know obviously in your in your videos prior your family was such an important part of them and obviously your friends too and we've seen some cameos yeah. from your friends like babu appearing in the episodes as yeah. well but i'm so curious. and rupin rupin my buddy rupin is uh he, he he provided a lot of the uh voiceover work for a lot oh, of the really? characters so you'll hear his voice and happening throughout many different episodes we'll have to look out for that yeah. but yeah. i'm so curious when it, when it came to kind of casting your family that must have been probably the most daunting part of it all what was yeah. that what, what were the things that were like non-negotiable for you and you were like i need to have this in, in the show i think just characters that were really authentic to uh these people like you know with the pools that we currently have there's not necessarily actors that can you know there's there's a lot of great actors but I was just looking for something so specific that I really spoke to it. Like it was very important for me to have a father that also wears a turban, like a turban wearing male figure. I'm like, I, they need to know what it feels like. And it's also like, if I'm writing a role for somebody that wears a turban, like it would be, you know, like it, it wouldn't make sense for me to give it to somebody that would just wear a turban for the role. I'm like, there's so many actors that want to fit these roles. So like even all the actors that wear turbans in these, in these, in, in the show, like I really wanted them to be actual turban wearing men. And then, like I mentioned before, the mother, like her dialect of Punjabi is very specific. It's the same dialect my mom spoke. And it's, I think, one of the first times this dialect has ever been shown wow. uh, on on television or on in film even. Like, I don't ever remember seeing it. I just heard it being spoken in my family. So that was super important 
uh, to me, but with like every every member of the cast, you know, I really wanted every person that was in the main cast to like really feel connected uh, to their role and really bring a part of themselves to the role. And they all did it and they all thrived. And it's just like super important for me to to make sure that they like were representing the right characters and they like just went above and beyond. And so it was like such an honor and like privilege to even be acting alongside them with them. Like every day after each scene, I was just like blown away by what they were doing. And a lot of them were even you know, new actors have never worked in this industry before. So, and, and and that's a bit of a risk as well. You know, sometimes we're like, you know, you all, a lot of production companies or, or networks would want you to choose um, actors that um, have experience because it's a very fast pace. You know, you got to meet your mark. You got to make sure that you're got a certain number of seasons a day. You got to memorize your lines. But, you know, all the actors, they just like went above and beyond to, to deliver. So it was just like, it was, it was so, so, uh, amazing to see that because yeah, the, the chemistry between you and your family in the show is just—it's so natural. I think that's the thing that we love the most about the show is that it feels authentic. It's it very feels authentic. genuine, yeah. and it's just yeah, just this natural way of going about it, and that's what makes it such an easy watch. Yeah, yeah. I think people can sense when something feels real and authentic. I think a lot of audiences are much smarter than people make them out to be. So, like, you, there's a general feeling of like. When something feels real, when something feels lived in, when something feels like, oh, this is the actual thing that's being represented, even if you don't have much knowledge about what this community is, there's a feeling that you get. And so that that was like super important for me uh, to to capture because it just it it, it wouldn't hit the same if, if if that wasn't there, you know. So like casting, it was a very intense process, but you know, we, we really pushed to to get the right pieces, you know. And I think with that too, because it feels so authentic, I think it's so, you know, everyone who grows up in Canada who has immigrant parents which or just an immigrant family, that is, this is truthful for everybody, it's no matter where you're coming from. Yeah. I think there's so much of like, when I was seeing you, you're like, oh, I see myself in that, or, or Shay will see himself in that because these are real experiences for everyone. And even shooting it, you know, totally. here, you know, shooting Toronto. Like I grew up in Brampton. Shay grew up in Mississauga. Like we worked at Square One. Like there, there are places yeah, in yeah. the world that, like, that you connect with. And and knowing, seeing, like, oh, there's a BMO in the background there. It's like the, it all. <laughs> yeah, adds up. Yeah. Like this is this is, the, you know, Jasmine showing like his world and what he con- what he came up with, right? Yeah, I think it's just so important to show that those perspectives. And even uh, when the writers were got when we had the writers room, like they. Not all of them were from the same I think I was the only like JB sick uh background writer in the room, but like they all came from different backgrounds. But um they also had like the similar upbringing of being, you know, uh an immigrant, child of immigrant growing up here. So even all the writers brought so much of themselves, so many of their experiences. And you'll really see that world kind of get heightened and 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 there's more flavor out of it because, you know, they were they they also brought a lot of their own experiences as well. So it was just like it was just such a cool thing to see like people just giving so much of themselves to this project um so like selflessly it was, it was really yeah. nice yeah we absolutely love that jasmine again we just wanted to say how much we love this show how much we're thankful for your time today daniel and i we've been watching your videos since we used to work at apple and square one and we were just <laughs> every day just like hey man, that's the most you? mississauga job I know, like right? <laughs> The I'm most pretty, brown guy is like sure. job is Apple and Square One. Like, I'm pretty yeah. sure we've even helped you if you come into the store. I'm pretty confident. Probably. You probably have. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Every time I go to an Apple store, it's always I always remember the it's, it's pretty much you. Us. You know, yeah, like, yeah one of you absolutely. Guys. And it, it, we just grew up watching them, and to now finally be talking to you about a show that is so fantastic is such an amazing experience. So thank you so much. We can't wait for people to watch the show and just have an amazing time with it. And I appreciate. Uh, you guys, man, and you guys ask great questions too. So I, I can tell you're really passionate about what you do as well. So kudos to you too. Thank Appreciate you, man, so much. That. And hopefully we get to talk to you again. See you guys.